So now that we are in our setup, you can see over here that this is going to be our title, right? This is going to be only bootstrap. Then we will have a bootstrap CDN. Then over here, this is going to be the main CSS. Then this is going to be a Google fonts, Roboto fonts. And over here, you can see that I'm going to have a font awesome, right? So if we go to our main CSS, you can see that this is going to be our fonts. And of course, over here, I have images, right? That we're going to be using. We're not going to be using all of them, but I still uh, have them, right? And over here, obviously, is main CSS and index HTML. Right, so let's go to index.html. We can close out this head element over here so it's uh, not distracting us, right? So we have a little bit more view. I'm going to make left and right a little bit more, right? So we can see better what we're doing. And as always, the first things that we're going to do is actually create a comment and we're going to say that this is going to be a banner section over here. And we're just going to copy this over. I'm going to say this is going to be end of banner section. Right, and in the button section, first we're going to create a div class and we're going to say container over here. And I actually went ahead and went a little bit uh, faster than I thought. Actually, the first thing that I would want to do is actually create a section. Right, section, and I'm going to say a D. This is going to be a banner section. And over here we're going to say class and we're just going to give it a background dark, right? because uh, there's nothing in right now in my section, so you're not going to be able to see what's happening right with that background dark. But I'm just going to cut this one and place this one over here. But you can see that this is going to be this background. Right? That's the background dark. Now after that, we're going to have a div with a class. And over here, we're just going to say that this is going to be row. And this is going to be max viewport class. Viewport over here like this and that's the one we're going to actually creating ourselves a line uh, item center I'm going to show you just in a second what this class does over here and then within the row we're going to place a div right and we're going to say the class over here and the class is going to be column 12 right so in the extra small screens is going to be 12 spanning 12 columns wide however on the medium screen we just want to span 8 columns wide and over here within this column we're actually going to place a heading one and we're actually going to give it a bootstrap class text danger right so this is going to be a red text text danger right and now obviously we need to write something so i'm going to say my first over here and i'm going to say that this is going to be boot bootstrap right and i'm going to say website right but what I want to do is actually make this website in a small uh, element, right? And over here, like this bootstrap one, right? And over here, I'm just going to say that this is also going to have a class. And the class is going to be text white. Text white. Over here, like this. And you can see that my spelling is not very great today. So we're going to have a website. And you can see that this is actually smaller than this one, right? That's what the small element does, right? So now that we are done with our heading, we're actually ready to use a paragraph over here and we're going to give it a class lead. This is going to add some extra padding, right? So if we put class lead and over here, this is going to be a dummy text, right? Then this is how it's going to look like. Now, one thing probably uh, maybe we should over here change also this one to a different text, right? So let's check it out. What do we have? Well, now we kept it over here black, so might as well. Probably let's leave it, right? But over here, we could also add some class, right? So just for sake of it, maybe, maybe you can add a text danger, right? And warning, right? So now you can see this is going to be the yellow text. Now, after that, after the paragraph, let's create two buttons. We're going to say a href, right? And over here, we're going to put a hashtag. And we're going to have a class. And we're going to say button. And we're going to make it a large, button large. And over here we're going to see button. And I'm going to say this is going to be primary. Uh, so that's going to be the blue one. And over here, I'm going to add, add a margin, right? And this is going to be margin all around. So let's go ahead and you can see that this is my button. And I'm going to write press here. And we're going to copy this one more time. And now we have two lengths, but I'm just going to change a uh, color over here. I'm going to say this is going to be success. 
success. All right, so this is going to be a green one. And actually, we're done with HTML. Now, let me go over a uh, few, few classes, right? So first of all, you see this max viewport, right? So let's go ahead and actually create this class since we need it, right? So I go to main CSS, and I'm going to say that this is going to be a max. And you're going to say viewport. And over here, we're going to say that this is going to be a min height. And this is going to be 100 uh, viewports, right? Over here like this, right? So now you can see that this is uh, this is actually uh, taking the, my whole screen, right? Now you can see that it's actually right away in the center, right? And this is by design, but what we did in a HTML, right? So if we go back, every row, right? You can see everything is sitting over here in this row, right? And every row in Bootstrap is actually uh, by design right away a flex box container, right? So everything that's in here, which in our case, this would be this div, right? It is treated like a flex box, right? So if we add over here this flex box property, a line item center, right? We're right away vertically uh, positioning in center, right? So I just delete one, uh, let's say center, right? You can see that it's right away moves up, right? Because I'm technically this class is not complete, right? I write center, so this is right away puts it in a center, right? So this is how it works with this class, right? So if you ever want to put something vertically in the center, just use this align item center. Just remember that it deals with one uh, element at a time, right? So right now we have one element, but if the, we had two, uh, you would actually view a little bit differently, right? Uh, regarding Flexbox. Now the next thing that I want to show you class is margin two, or here like this, and that's the margin you can see all around the button, right? So with the bootstrap, we can add a margin uh, or paddings around the elements, right? Uh, in the later sections, we're gonna see how to use specific ones, right? Let's say for right or left or whatever. But in this case, you can see that we just put a margin all around, right? So again, I just deleted, you can see that uh, actually uh, margin disappeared, right? So I'm gonna put this one back. And now we have everything set up. Now the last thing over here, you can see that I have over here this column medium made, right? So what I want to do is let's say, uh, as you can see, as it's going bigger, right? I want to keep it to this medium eight size, right? Because what I don't like is, let's say that we just delete this medium eight, right? And again, we would go to the bigger screen, right? You can see that this is going to start actually expanding more than I want to, right? And that's why we're adding this class medium eight just to keep it in line, right? Now, one thing to remember though, that it's automatically gonna actually place it on the left side, right? Because it's looking for those extra four classes over here, right? So we're gonna actually look at how to deal with that later, right? But just for now, this is this class that we added, column medium eight, is actually making sure that uh, on the screens that are past medium size, this column is not expanding more than eight columns. Uh, so this is going to be it for this section, and let's move on to the next.